All right, hey, good morning, and welcome to another chapel here at Holy Cross. I'm Pastor Matt, and as always, we begin chapel in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, you may be wondering what I'm doing here. I'm filming a chapel, but I'm on this exercise bike this morning, trying to get in a little cardio, you know? Trying to get in, burn off some calories, get a little cardio on this stationary bike here. But I have to tell you something, guys. Whew, I hate doing cardio. I don't like cardio at all. I like some types of exercise. I love, I love to go to the gym and lift weights. That makes me feel strong and big. Like, I love that. Like, I used to do martial arts back in the day. I don't really anymore, but I loved going to train martial arts. It was always a blast. It always made me feel good. But I do not like cardio. First of all, as you can see, by the fact that I'm already getting out of breath here, I'm not very good at it. I get out of breath, I, I don't like it. I can't go very fast or very long or, you know, at a really high resistance. Like, just can't do it. it makes me uncomfortable. My chest gets kind of tight. Can't breathe. Um, sometimes I'll cough. My, when doing stationary bike, man, my legs get really sore. Like, if I do this for any length of time, if I do it for 45 minutes to an hour, the next day I can barely walk. You know, I'll be limping around because the muscles in my legs are so sore, it's almost painful. So you may find yourself asking if, if I hate cardio this much, if I hate the stationary bike this much, if it's almost painful to me, then why do I do it? And the answer is, no matter how difficult it is, uh, no matter how uncomfortable it is, even a little bit of pain, I know it does something good for me. It accomplishes something good in my life. It helps me to be healthier, helps me to be more athletic for even some of the other things I do, like lifting weights. It's, it's good for my heart. It's going to help me to, to live a little longer. So even though I really kind of hate this, I still do it because I know it's good for me. I know it does something good when I do this. Now, for the younger kids, the preschool kids, you probably just want to let this video roll on through. But for the older kids, you might want to pause the video here. Spend a few minutes talking about things that you do in your life that you don't particularly enjoy. Maybe they're difficult or challenging. Maybe they make you feel uncomfortable. Maybe even they're physically painful in some ways, but you do them anyway because you know it accomplishes something good in your life. What are some of those things? Go ahead and pause the video here. We'll be back in just a minute and I'll be off this thing. All right, welcome back. Um, now I'm gonna tell you why we're talking about that. Why am I talking about the stationary bike and how much I hate to do it, but I do it because it's good for me. And the reason is because today we're talking about the death of Jesus Christ the death of Jesus Christ now I know that's gonna be a little more difficult for some of you younger kids to understand and wrap your head around but it's still important that we talk about it so here's a reading from Matthew chapter 27 that recounts Jesus last moments before he dies here's what it says starting in verse 45 now from the sixth hour there was darkness all over the land until the ninth hour and about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, this man is calling Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with sour wine, and put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice, and yielded up his spirit. Jesus gave up his own life. Jesus underwent something that he didn't particularly want to do. He even prayed and asked God once if there was any other way, any other thing he could do. But Jesus knew when God said, no, this is it, this is the only way, Jesus knew what he had to do. And so he suffered, he was 
actually uh, underwent some really terrible things. I'm not going to go into it because of the younger kids. And then he died. Why did Jesus do that? Why did Jesus do something that he didn't want to do really that or at least he wished there was another different way that he could do it why did he do something that was going to hurt him so badly and why did he do something that was even going to lead to his own death when we do things that don't make us feel good we often do them because we know in the end they are good for us jesus didn't do these things because they were good for him Jesus did them because they were good for everyone else, because they were good for you and for me, because when Jesus did that, he fixed everything that was wrong with the world. He fixed everything that was wrong with our relationship with God. He removed fear. He removed doubt. He forgives sins, which is when we do something bad or wrong. And he brings new life. For the you uh, younger kids, the preschool kids, that maybe all this seems a little deep for you, I want you to know one thing. What this shows us is that indeed, Jesus loves us. Jesus loves you. We're going to pray. Uh, I'm going to pray with you, and then uh, I'm going to attach a song. Um, my, uh, my recommendation is for the preschool kids, you may just want to end the video after the prayer and sing Jesus Loves Me, This I Know with your classroom because that's the message I want them to have. But for you older elementary kids, uh, I've attached a, a, a real worship song. It's called Resurrecting. And uh, it talks about what Jesus did and what he went through and how he went through it for us so that we could experience a resurrection like his. And I encourage you to sing along with it. I'm going to attach a, a lyrics video. Uh, and so, yeah, sing along with it and worship together with that song. But to end this, let's pray first. Father, we thank you that Jesus went through something so difficult, not for himself, but for us. Continue to comfort us in this world we live in, with the knowledge that he did that because he loves us. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And as always, we end chapel in the same way we begin, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now go in peace and serve the Lord.